Man, when you wrap a vehicle, it just literally brings it to life. But the same can't be said for every vehicle. Sometimes they come in and they're so beat up and so nasty that we just want to put them out of their misery. But I believe my guys can do the impossible. Let's see how they handle this challenge. All right, Jay, here's your impossible mission for this week. Here's this big, nasty, beat up food truck and we gotta turn it really fast. We need to get this thing designed, printed up, and installed so that they can get to this event on Friday night. Oh, this Friday? Jeez. Yeah, I know it's only a week. What do you think? Do they know what they wanna see in the design? Man, these guys, it's two guys, Kenny and Denny, and they're a barbecue company. Okay. They have no idea what they want. Some kind of Americana feel, you know. Sure. It's completely up to us what we wanna do. Uh, there's obviously a lot of body work. We gotta do some work here, some paint work on this grill. Yeah, they've got generators that sit up on top of this thing that we need to make a cage to cover them. Okay. Um, you know, obviously it's in really bad shape. This paint work, it's gotta be all sanded down and, uh, you know, taken care of before we do the wrap. All right, so how crazy can we get with this design? Can we change the truck? Can we add things to it? Some uh, modifications, if you would. I'll get with Steve and we can talk about maybe custom building a grill for it and uh, maybe doing something with the propane tanks on the back. Okay, yeah. The biggest challenge in this is making this thing look like somebody wants to eat out of it. I mean, look at it now. I wouldn't have my dog eat out of this thing. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But bring me your ideas. Clock is ticking, so you got to get on it. All right. So it did feel a little bad dropping this in Jason's lap like that. Did you see the look on his face when we walked the truck? He looked like his wife just told him they were about to have triplets. But don't let that look fool you because he's a genius when it comes to creative branding and Steve is a fabrication maniac. So I can't wait to see what they come up with. All right, man, what you got for me? When you said Americana, it definitely set off some uh, some old school World War II kind of a bomber theme. So gonna have a pinup girl, gonna have a tiger shark mouth, nice. gonna have pipes and bombs and guns and metal riveting everywhere. Guns. Yeah. Let me check it out. That's it's awesome. Be awesome. All right, I love it. And then what are we gonna do to the rest of it? All right, here's what we got planned for back here. We definitely want to cut this off. Cut this off and it's not attached to the bumper. So this whole piece of steel can move. And we're getting rid of that. We'll get rid of it all. Okay. And we'll keep this rack, which is where the two bombs are set up. This is in good shape here. And then I'll put fins on here, aluminum fins, to make this look like a bomb. It's awesome. Yep. I love it. And here's what we're thinking for this front design. The GMC has to come off. Of course, the fiberglass is broken. We'll have to repair that. Yeah. I think we have to add a piece across here. A and piece if, of what? Um, I'll probably use a piece of aluminum okay. to, just to make it look uniform. Okay. And so then, you're building this whole front? Yeah, I'll probably build a piece of U-channel that fits across here. Nice, nice. It up. Okay. What about this big hole here? Then I think we need a custom grill. Something with little bombs dropping. I don't know if we want little airplanes dropping bombs, but a nice grill that shows lots of holes in it uh -huh. so the air can go into there. And then I think right here, I think we need two turrets sticking out. Two barrels. Like guns. Like a 50 caliber gun here and another 50 caliber oh, gun here. It. Just sticking out about that far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we can put a box over this made of wood to cover these two generators okay and make it look like an ammo box so we can either do aluminum with wood or make a wooden box and totally okay. put slats on the side love it stencil oh. ammo on the side of the box and then once we start on this thing these guys are not coming in they're gonna not see it until it's completely done we'll reveal it after it's all done we're doing way more than just a wrap i mean we're totally transforming this truck it's ridiculous you're gonna love it now, this is an old GMC truck, it's what they typically call a bread truck. But yeah, they don't make a template for this. Most of my vehicle designs I do on templates. So with this one, I have to take photographs of the truck, nice square on photographs, and then I bring those photographs up to actual size in Photoshop. That way I can kind of see where everything is going to land, where the body lines are, where I can put in seams. Because it's not a standard uh, design, there's a lot of opportunity for things to go wrong. bent a piece of metal to act as the finish for this bull nose where there's a bunch of pieces missing. And then we've created this grill. 
with machine guns. And this is a finished plate that takes care of all the wells, kind of gives it a finished cover look. And when Rene completes painting this, he'll swear it's the real guns. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I gotta make a, a rust faux on the front grill of the truck. So I'm gonna grab some red oxide because it has that, uh, that rust look. Put a little bit of the yellow, the oxide yellow, also because of the rust look. Make a little bit of blue to make it darker. A little bit of red and a little bit of black. The bumper is black and I, want it, I don't want the rust to stand out too much. I want it to kind of go, go in with the flat black. And that's how I came up with that rust color. What I'm doing is just dab it, dab it, dab it, and then kind of like stroke it so that it looks like it's, you know, like it's rusted. Dab it, dab it, and I stroke it a little bit to make it look like, uh, like it's aged and like the rust is just running down. If you add like a little bit of texture, I don't know if you can see that. So it has like a little bit of a 3D effect and then just making it run. I went as far as putting like dirt in it sometimes. When I was doing the barrels, I didn't do a whole lot on it because I still wanted to make it look like they can still shoot you down. We got rivets on top of rivets on top of rivets on this one. It's gonna make it a nightmare. This raid's gonna take all night doing this. We normally do one of these in three to four days and they're expecting us to do this one in two. It's always the worst people, dude. The ones that are in the worst shape that we always gotta do the fastest. When you're on an insane deadline like this, there's a lot of opportunity for things to go wrong. Hey. Can you come out here for a minute? Yep. All right, thank you. Well, they'll notice it, and you know how he likes it. He did? <sighs> it is pretty far off, though, standing back here. They don't even look human. Yeah, I may have had a little something to do with that last minute panic. Stay tuned for next week's episode where we fight some major obstacles and try to get this truck done on time. Thank you for watching the Media One Wrap This YouTube channel. See you next week.